2A family. What's good with you? It's your boy, 2A in LA. And as always, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes, and future episodes, it's just my personal opinion. You shouldn't take it as fact. You shouldn't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now, fam, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. All right. If you are new to the channel, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and subscribe. I think you're going to enjoy the content and make sure you hit that not notification bell so you can get info on all our future videos. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe later. Nobody's going to come looking for you or nothing. <laughs> Right? If you're an assistant subscriber, thank you so much, fam. Thank you so much for all your support of the channel. We are growing. The family is growing. It seems like just yesterday I did our 1,000 subscriber video, fam. And by the time this airs, we'll probably be at about 12,000. Incredible. Right? So I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, look, fam, look. Check the links down below. We got merch, fam. We got hot merch. We got hats. We got t-shirts. We got sweatshirts. We got shorts. We got backpacks. We got, we got all the 2A gear that you need to really set off uh, and make a statement. All right? So we got all that for you. Okay, look, fam, let's get this rolling. This video right here this video right here this i'm talking about this video right here this was a long time coming fam i've had this gun for a minute i did kind of like i think i want to say like first or second quarter of last year like shortly after i started the channel and i haven't gotten around to doing a review on it of course you see them in gun collection videos but haven't had a chance to uh, really get in, show it to you guys up close and personal, and kind of talk about it in review format. Uh, no particular reason for that. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to get around to it, but when I was going through my firearms that I hadn't done reviews, I couldn't believe I hadn't done one on this one. And of course, fam, I'm talking about that IWI Tavor 95. So let me let you guys Take a little gander at it. Okay, so let's let's talk about it. First of all, it's a bull pup. And for those who do not know what a bull pup is, uh, the bull pup is where the action of the gun is behind the trigger. You know, on most guns, the trigger is back here. Your mag is up here, right? In this case, your mag is back here and the trigger is up here. Now, if you're asking, well, why the heck would somebody do it? It's because it cuts down on the length of the firearm. Because the barrel is back here, this has a full 16-inch barrel. And I'll put up uh, the... I'll put up the... Um, the detail, the specs up there so you guys can check it out. But it allows you to have a full size rifle barrel in a very short, compact package. You know, if this was an AR, you know, thing would be way out here somewhere, right? But because the action is behind and the barrel is set back, it allows you, uh, it's really made for like, a lot of CQB close quarters type battles. And so, like, this is something like when I think about weapons that I would use potentially to defend my home, most of the time, uh, my AR 15s don't come to mind, not the rifles at least, because of their length. So usually I'm going to get something in, if I'm going to have an AR, if I'm going to have a 223556, it's going to be in a pistol form where it's shorter and maybe it's braced or it's an SBR, right? Or it's going to be a PCC, again, where it's a pistol and it's shorter. Um, but this is one, theoretically, that you could use to defend your home if you wanted, uh, if you had the right ammunition, obviously, and if you wanted something that 
you could work around corners and clear a house with. Um, so from that perspective, I think it makes it attractive. So, and of course I got that Vortex uh, UH1 on here, fam. I got to do an episode about this. I, this is amazing. <laughs> it is a great optic. Now, it is not inexpensive. So I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll put that out there right away. But man, great optic. So we'll, we'll talk about this one, this optic later. Let's talk about the gun more. So... A lot of time when people ask me what I think about the rifle, I tell them I think it's a phenomenal rifle. I think it is um, it is well constructed. IWI don't mess around with it. You know they they make quality stuff. Whether it's this, the SAR, the TS12, I mean they just make good weapons. Um, so I tell them that it is an awesome gun. But what I will, and I told you about the benefit of it being such in such a compact package for a rifle, that that makes it very attractive too. What I will say is though, if you are accustomed to shooting out of the AR-15, AR-10 platform, and you come to this, it's going to take some training, huh? It's going to take some training. You know, I don't think, you know, you've got your, because all the controls are in different places. So you got your safety, select, switch there. You've got your mag, eject there. And by the way, the gun is totally unloaded. It has a side charging charge, a side facing charging handle. Um, because it's a bull pup, the bullets eject out here kind out of out of here and that's kind of right you know where your cheek well is um if you're a lefty that could be problem <laughs> that could be problematic right and so something to consider but um and it is a, it is a non I know sometimes people ask me cuz people are used to the scar they ask me oh is that a is that a reciprocating charging handle no it's a non reciprocating charging handle it doesn't go uh, back and forth. Um, so I would say, why are you buying the weapon? Why are you buying the firearm? What is your goal with it? Are you getting it because it's unique and you want it as part of your collection and it's fun to shoot, to take out to the range? I, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's in part why I have it. Is it going to be your go-to battle rifle? If it is, then you better train with it. Like I said, if you're used to shooting AR-15s, AR-10s, that kind of AR platform, you you're going to be thrown off. This <laughs> this takes this takes a while to get used to. Certainly, nothing you can't overcome. But if you're going, if you're, if you're, if you're going to have like, the, if you're putting together like your weapons package, right? You're kind of stuff hit the fan, load out, and you got an AR pistol, and this, it's gonna make training harder because they're very different, right? Um, for me, uh, I don't, I wouldn't, I love it. It's a great shooter. It's a blast to shoot and it's a great battle rifle. Don't get me wrong about that either. It's just a different format that requires training and I enjoy, I think I enjoy the AR-15 platform better it's more common uh it's more easy to find uh parts for um i just for a weapons loadout i, I prefer the ar-15 platform so if you're trying to decide between like thinking about a comparable gun if you're trying to decide between like a daniel defense ar-15 and this i'm probably picking up the daniel defense 
just because I enjoy the platform better. Uh, both of them are great shooters. Both smooth, accurate, like I said. If I needed to do CQB though, I'd much rather have this than the Daniel Defense um, because of the shorter length. Um, but if I'm doing CQP in like an urban area, I don't know if the 223 round is what's best for me. And even if it was, I'd probably use my pistol format, maybe my 300 blackout or uh, my arrow pistol. But again, look fam, this is an extraordinary gun. I think I have some footage of me shooting it. I'll throw up there. I've got no complaints. If it sounds like I don't like it, it, it don't take it that way. I love the gun. It is a fantastic rifle, fantastic shooter. Like I said, the compact package is hard to beat. The fit and finish is well done, well made. It's a generational gun. You can pass down to future family. So it's all that. I'm just saying that the, if you're going to use it as your go-to battle rifle, then you have to spend a lot of time training with it. You can't be one of those people who, you know, spend all your time on AR-15s and AR-15 pistols and AR-10s, and then all of a sudden you pick this up today and think you're going to, no. <laughs> it's different. That's all. It's different. I'm not saying it's any better or worse. It's just different. And all weapons you got to train on, right? So look, fam. Now they do make a, a more tactical front rail for it. I haven't got around to picking that up. Uh, I don't know that I need it, uh, but you know I like to, you know, keep it tactical. How we do, right? <laughs> I like to keep it tactical. But so maybe I'll change out that rail, and when I do, I'll pull it back out and show you guys. Yeah, but that's it, y'all. The Tavor. X95. Look, fam, it's it's not for play. It is a fantastic firearm. Alright? That's it for this episode, fam. Until next time, as always, take care of one another and peace.